Good afternoon. My name is Gonzalo, and I'm here to present you Biomimetics, the team that will solve the biofooling problem. Biofooling is the addition of marine organisms from bacteria to algae or mussels to every structure that is placed on water. We can see here, for example, a buoy and a fishing net completely covered with algae and a boat in a dry dock and another buoy completely covered with barnacles. This happens very fast and it's a very big problem. It takes less than a season to have extreme fooling on a boat. We can see here, for example, a boat that was clean and painted at time zero and after four weeks, extreme fooling is visible. Let me stress that. This boat was previously painted with a paint design to prevent fouling, an anti-fouling paint. But why should we prevent fouling? Well, not only our boat gets ugly due to fouling, you will also spend a lot of money with it. Let's see some numbers. If you have a 10 meters boat, you will spend, due to fouling, every year around 1,000 euros. And globally, fouling prevention saves 53 billion euros in fuel consumption every day. So I hope everyone understands now that this is a very big problem, right? Anti-fouling paints, which are paints that contain biocides, molecules used to kill marine organisms, are sold by five global companies. Copper is the most used biocide. It's present in 90% of anti-fouling paints, but is not efficient and its chemical partners. This is both toxic and also very expensive. But this was not always the case. Tributyltin, well, let's call it TBT, was the rock star of marine biocides. It was present everywhere. It was efficient against bacteria, algae, and mussels. But it was so toxic that it could change the sex of fish. That's why it was banned in 2008. In opposition, we have academic enzymes that are not present any toxicity, but tests were done, and they are not going to be effective enough to be used as marine biocides. And in the middle, we have copper and its chemical partners that are not efficient against bacteria and algae, and despite not being as toxic as TBT, they still have very toxic effects. They accumulate severely in cells' DNA. So the pressure to also ban copper is increasing. The problem is there is no solution in the market. We have the solution. Biomimetics, with its low toxicity and high efficiency, beats them all. But how we end up here? Well, let me tell you a story. We were, in fact, studying antibiotic resistance. And to do so, we collected thousands of bacteria from the environment. One of them produces annoyingly huge amount of compounds that damaged a lot of experiments. So we decided to study these molecules, and we realized that we had in our hands one bacterial factory that was unique, that produces unique compounds with biocidal capabilities that are, of course, patentable. All these features are combined in one product, a new biological biocide for marine paints. That, unlike copper, it's efficient against bacteria, algae, and mussels. That will not accumulate in the environment since it's totally biodegradable. And since it's naturally produced in, in large amounts, it is easy to collect, reducing the number of operations and, of course, costs. This is exactly what marine paint producers and ship owners want. But what about the market for biomimetics. Well, last year, 750 million liters of paints were sold, containing 420,000 tons of copper, meaning that our market last year, our addressable market, was 2.7 billion euros. 
And how are you going to tackle this market? We are going to enter the market where copper legislation is more severe and where this premium segment of leisure boats is higher, Sweden. Afterwards, we will expand to the remaining Europe countries where biocide policy is being revised and to the US, Washington, California states where copper paints are already being phased out. So far, we invested 325,000 euros in research and development. We proved the concept. We disclosed the information to the university. And we did the IP search for patent registration. We'll need two more years for product development and certification in Europe and the US. And we'll enter the market in 2017 after aggressive market in the previous season. To do this, we will need three rounds of investment, up to 8.3 million euros. But this roadmap is exclusively for biocides, for marine paints. But our technology have a pipeline for much other products. Biomimetics teams lies on three technologies, myself, Patrick, and Romana, one MBA student, Eduardo, and two executives, Frederico and Elena. But let me wrap up by saying that and biofooling problem, it's a big problem. It has a huge market, and current solutions don't do the job. We have exactly what marine paint producers and ship owners want, an alternative that is environmentally safe and efficient. Thank you very much.